Hey guys, welcome to another lesson. In our previous lesson, we've talked about the classification of plants. We've talked about the classification of plants into different divisions biologically. Now, we'll be talking about the classification of plants based on agriculture. Now, what, what, what this means is we'll be classifying plants according to the products in which they are planted or cultivated or grown for. So, we'll now be classifying plants into those different reasons or different um, reasons which we plant those plants. So let's talk about the classification of plants based on agriculture. One is the cereals or the grains. Now these crops are planted or cultivated for their grains as the name implies. Now they have high starch content and examples of these organisms or these plants include maize, the guinea corn, millet, wheat, barley, oats, rye, and the list goes on and on. Another classification of plants are the leguminous plants or the pods. Now these plants have high protein content and they are a high source of nitrates in the soil. Examples of these plants include groundnuts, beans, melons, flamboyant, crotaleria, and so on and so forth. Now, another classification of the plants is the root crops. Now, these plants, as their name implies, they are grown for their roots, and their roots are specialized for food storage. They are also good, very good sources of carbohydrates. Examples of these plants include the sweet potatoes, the Irish potatoes, the yams, cassava, carrots, and the list goes on and on. Now, another classification is the, veg the vegetable crops. Now, these crops or plants are herbaceous plants that are important constituents of a diet and they are good sources of vitamins and mineral salts also. Examples of these plants include the tomatoes, cabbage, lettuce, okra, and other vegetables.